I knew what happened. That was it. It was done. The direct challenge in front of you is the rehab. Where is that right now? How's your Achilles? It's, uh, it's, it's good, actually. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the strength is coming back. The biggest thing right now is just trying to uh, get the strength in it so I can put you know, all the weight to be able to walk without crutches or walk without a heel lift. So. Have you had a chance to maybe look at your timeline? You told us after exit interviews you should be back for opening night. Is that still where your sights are? No, I hope so. I mean, that's, that's the challenge, you know. Um, you just have to be patient, like the tendon heel, and then and when that moment comes when they say, okay, now it's on you to train as hard as you can to get back to where you want to be, yeah, that's going to be a good day. There was a time when I guess you would maybe bristle at the Michael comparison. Maybe it was just too much, too soon. The fact that just your name being mentioned in the same conversation as is, that says you kind of got to where your career wanted to be. Yeah, man, I, I, all I wanted to do, all I wanted to do, I wanted to come in the league and I wanted to win multiple championships. You know, and you know, as a young kid, it's like, well, you know, this is this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to win, you know, five, six, seven championships because you know, that's what Magic did, that's what Russell did, that's what Jordan did. You know. And uh, I feel very comfortable with my career and what I've been able to accomplish in that regard. Michael's been someone, you said, have basically brought you under his wing, shared secrets of the game to you, if you will. Have there been any guys in today's NBA that, that you treat the same way? Yeah, you know, I, I, um, there's a few of them. You know, I, I really um, you know, like KD quite a lot. What he does and you know, how he plays and how he works. And, you know, Westbrook being another one. And, you know, they just both happen to be on the same team. You know, Carmelo and Anthony, obviously, we had a long relationship. And, um, but just as a whole, you know, players who get injured and go down, you know, David Lee, I was, I felt, you know, it was my responsibility to reach out to him and make sure that he was all right. And, uh, you know, Harrison Barnes is like a you know, little brother to me. So, I mean, there's, there's guys in the league that I definitely look out for. And, and try to steer him in the right direction. Dwight Howard, there's stories out there that he could have interest in Houston. What do you feel about the decision limit for him? Well, I mean, he, he, he's earned the right. I mean, when you're a free agent, you have the right to be able to, to look around at other franchises. And, you know, um, for me, I mean, it's kind of let him you know, do his due diligence and, um, and then move in and talk to him and, um, you know, figure out if this is a place he wants to be. You know, we all want him here. Um, but then that's when the selling begins. But you don't, you don't start the selling process right before he goes and does all this stuff. You want to get the last word. Okay. You, you want to have the final word and the closing argument. So you're going to save your pitch? Of course. Of course. I'll give him a little opening statement, but then i got to make sure I have the final word.